Russia has started integrating advanced Komita CRPA antennas into its aerial bomb systems, aiming to strengthen their resilience against Ukraine's increasingly effective electronic warfare EW, tactics. This development was highlighted by the Telegram channel, Colonel GSH, which regularly reports on military technology and battlefield innovations. Engineers are reportedly installing these 12-channel Komita antennas on the UMPK, Universal Gliding and Correction Module, a retrofit system that transforms traditional unguided bombs into guided precision weapons. The new setup is designed to improve satellite navigation performance, especially in environments plagued by jamming and spoofing. Photographs shared online show a 12-element Komita antenna with production stamps from April 2025, suggesting that these updated modules are now in full-scale production. According to the source, the latest batch is marked 4.25 number 685, and the serial numbers seem to have been reset, likely indicating the beginning of a new manufacturing series. Variants of the same 12-channel Komita antennas have previously been spotted on Shahid-136 loitering munitions, also known in Russia as Garin-2 drones. Analysts note that these enhancements could help extend the operational precision of such drones in contested zones. The Komita system utilizes controlled reception pattern antenna, CRPA, technology, which allows satellite navigation systems to continue functioning even when subjected to EW interference. CRPA works by filtering out misleading or hostile signals, helping bombs maintain an accurate trajectory. This technological push comes as Ukraine continues to refine its EW capabilities. One such system, dubbed Lima, has proven particularly effective in disrupting the navigational integrity of Russian aerial weapons. According to The Economist, Lima uses a sophisticated blend of signal jamming, spoofing, and cyber techniques to mislead or disable satellite guidance. What sets Lima apart is its ability to zero in on a target's navigation receiver rather than simply flooding frequencies with noise. This precision interference is said to be more efficient and harder to counter than traditional EW approaches. Russia's UMPK guided bombs rely on a hybrid guidance model, inertial navigation for general direction and satellite correction for accuracy. However, when satellite signals are compromised or lost, the munition defaults to inertial mode. Over longer flights, this fallback mode becomes less reliable due to cumulative drift, diminishing accuracy. Interestingly, a Chinese-manufactured 16-element CRPA unit was recovered in early 2025 from a downed Russian Shahid drone, adding another layer to the evolving EW arms race. Meanwhile, photos from July 2024 show the FAB-3000, one of Russia's heaviest air-dropped bombs, also equipped with UMPK kits, underscoring Moscow's broader strategy of upgrading legacy munitions for modern combat scenarios. With Ukraine's electronic defenses tightening, Russia's integration of Komita CRPA antennas appears to be a direct response, aimed at restoring the precision edge of its aerial arsenal.